Hi guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, and today we are coloring our hair. Well, not our hair, but my hair. I am going to show you guys how I touch up my halo hair at home. I'm also going to show you guys how I remove the color and what products I used, and then how the color that I put on my hair also turned out. I know you guys can already see it, but the process is fun. Sometimes I need written directions to also see, so I will have that listed down below, so don't be afraid to check that out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and color our hair. I don't know if you guys can see, but I... I desperately need to touch up this red, but instead we are gonna be doing a different color today. I am going to be removing this red color. My sister, who is a hairstylist, did tell me to try out the Pulp Riot. This is the blank canvas. I got the matching 20 volume. I don't think I'll need 20 volume to get all of this out because we're going in with a similar color, but we will go ahead and do that. I have my tried and true. This is the Age Beautiful 5RR that we are gonna do on the top part, but we are gonna focus first on the halo and then because I can and it is my birthday month you can look it up I'll have it linked down below but this is the arctic fox color it is going to be almost like a I would describe this almost as like a raspberry pink more than like the baby pink that my nails are which by the way I might add a little bit of conditioner just to get it a more baby pink. Also, you will have to excuse the fact that my scalp is like super dry. It's getting colder here in Wisconsin and my skin can't handle it. I have a feeling that separating this is going to be difficult. Also, I'm looking at a mirror, so if I'm looking this way, that's what I'm doing. I mean, I guess if there's a little bit of darkness, it's not gonna be too big of a deal because we're going in with lightener anyway. But yeah, like, I think that the color actually stayed in really well. I mean, I know that there's a little bit of light still in there, but I don't know if I straighten it out. I think I got too much dark, but again, I mean, I guess that's reality of it at this moment in time. This is gonna be the hardest part, I feel, is... Alright, let me grab a mirror. I probably should have been way more prepared. Remember, I just tried to go straight across. But like, why did I do it so perfect? Okay, well that was way easier than I was expecting it to be. So it says on here, ratio is one to three. I don't feel like I need that much. Put the developer in here. Does the cap like measure? No. Ooh, I like the spout that this has. It's like conditioner. Let's just do it all. Go big or go home. That smells like straight up mint. Actually smells like, you know the drain cleaner? What is it called? Like Ajax or something like that? I heard really good things about this. Like I said, my sister who is a stylist did recommend this. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's like conditioner. Dick, let me go grab some gloves. Again, why am I not prepared for this? I don't know. And then I made the mistake last time of starting up in the front. We're gonna do like this area first. Go like up to here, right where my outgrowth kind of starts. I'm gonna start there and go to about here. And you can tell, maybe not on camera, but in person you can definitely tell where it starts to lighten. So I'm only gonna go from there until it really starts getting light on the ends. Why am I so out of breath? says that I need to check every five minutes. So the process is up to 30. So I need to check it every five minutes to see how it's lifting. I don't really see a whole lot of lift yet. So what I'll do is I will set a timer for, let's say 10 minutes. I'll set a timer, we'll come back in. We will check this if it looks like it's lifting which some of this back part definitely looks like it's lifting, but we'll check to see if it's lifting. If it's lifting, we'll go ahead and put it on the roots quick. But like I said, we're only doing this pink, so I don't feel like I need to have it too, too lifted in order to get this to look good. I will be back and we will check in. Okay, so 10 minutes has passed. I don't feel like my hair is quite as lifted. It probably doesn't help that it's so cold in my house. So I'm probably gonna leave it for another 10 minutes. And then when that 10 minutes is up, we will do the outgrowth. And then we'll probably just rinse it because then it'll have been on for 30 minutes. So let's give it 10 more minutes. Let's 
currently 4, almost 420, it's 419. This is what the hair is currently looking like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it out, we will come back and we will apply the color. But yeah, so far this is what it looks like. I did miss the spot behind my ear, but it's fine. Let's rinse it, we're gonna rinse it with cold water, no shampoo, and then add the pink. I think that this is probably as light as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna double process it because I already double processed everything last time with bleach. And the last thing we need to do is double process, double processed hair. This is the color. I would almost describe it as a magenta-y pink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just like a, just a pinch of conditioner because I wanna lighten it just slightly. My sister said that this will come out like a baby pink anyways, but I want it a little bit lighter. If it's too light, I can always go back over it, so I'm not too worried about that. That is super satisfying. Ooh, we missed a couple spots back there. Oops, what you gonna do at this point, you know? Nothing. You I definitely, hi baby. This part's always so much more fun than the bleaching because you can, you know, how it's transforming. I have a feeling this is gonna come out a little bit more peachy than I want, but okay, let's work on these ends. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like super, super saturated. That's exactly what you want it to feel like. Or like you could almost just like squeeze product out of it. Got a little bit back here, which I think I just barely made enough color. Dropped a little bit on the floor. Don't judge me, but I'm putting it on. And then when you do Arctic Fox colors, you can honestly leave it on for as long as you want because they are super, super nourishing. So I'm gonna pin this up. I am going to go ahead and start on the top of my hair. Um, if you guys want to know the products that I use for the top of my hair, they will be down below, but I don't really feel like I need to show how I do my red on the top because honestly, you could do this with any color. Finish up the top of my hair, and then the next time I see you guys, it's going to be for the final reveal. I will see you guys in just a second and probably like... I probably won't see it till tomorrow in actuality, so I'll see you guys then. So this is how the hair turned out. I'm obsessed with it. I really, really do like it. I've just, I've never had pink hair before, so for me it's just like a little bit, it's a little bit much because I've never had this color hair before. I do love it, I'm obsessed with it, but I am a little in shock by it too. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. Let me know if you guys like the pink or if you guys like the red more. I did want it more of like my nail Right, this is the pink. I did want it more of like this pink of a color, but the night is young. We can always color our hair again. So if you guys do want me to maybe try this color next time, let me know and I am more than happy to film that for you guys. Make sure that if you guys did make it this far into the video, you guys do hit subscribe, turn on post notifications, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. But other than that, if you guys don't want to turn on post notifications, just know that I do upload every single Sunday. So every single Sunday I will have a video ready for you. I have so many ideas coming up for the next few videos, so make sure that you guys do stay tuned for that. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys next Sunday for another upload. Bye guys.